Hi sis, welcome to Five Chic Matters. How are you doing? My name is Doris and here we talk everything fashion, how to look chic, fabulous, sophisticated, edgy on a budget while being modest at the same time. If this is your first time here, welcome to this channel. Hopefully you will subscribe and join this growing family. If this is not your first time, I appreciate you sis. You're a real OG, a real sister. And I hope that you have subscribed. So what are we doing here today? Well, you can see it's kind of like an unusual set up but i decided to sit on the ground because we are going to talk everything about like halves and bangles which is so my jam like you know this is what i love to use to accessorize my outfits apparently it is trendy now yeah we've been rocking it forever so i i, I don't know you know fashion you know <laughs> how the trends go so i have all of my my collection here on the ground and the only way that i was able to film was to sit on the ground myself so yeah it should be fun so just you know as introduction bangles are everywhere right now apparently maybe you know the runway designers were really pushing for them this season but they are everywhere um you can find them in all of the high streets retailers like Zara H&M and I love how they're coming up with like vivid colors and you can create so many different combinations that's why I'm not wearing anything because I'm we're going to try on some bangles today um, so many different color combinations according to your style according to what you're wearing according to your vibe so I love me some bangles for me I feel like bangles is kind of cultural I am African you know we wear that in my culture a lot and um, also, I feel like it hasn't really garnered a lot of enthusiasm in the past few years because a lot of people thought, you know, it wasn't mainstream. It was more like a gypsy kind of like vibe, boho vibe, like Afrocentric, you know, kind of like gypsy vibe. Um, yeah, because other cultures also wear bangles. And, but for me, I feel like I can still be classy and wear bangles and wear my scarves and wear my big chunky um, necklaces. So for me, I like what I like. So I can literally wear some bangles, some like big beads, um, statements, necklaces and enter any room. I feel like, the, you know, this is who I am, right? I can, yes, I can wear like something daintier. I can still wear it, but I feel like this is who I am. You see what I mean? So I'm actually very excited that it has been officially accepted as okay. You can still be chic and classy and still wear your big bangles and uh, your calves. This is actually a bangle. Hopefully you can see, um, you know, you can see what I'm showing you up close. So this is a bangle that I actually thrifted. This is one thing I do. I love sourcing them at the thrift store when I when I thrift, when I shop, and uh, at the thrift store, Salvation Army, Goodwill, um, even, you know, Target, if I see something that really catches my eye, and I feel like, oh my gosh, it's going to be such a nice addition to my outfit, to my style, I, I buy it. So, this is so cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I just love it, kind of like tribal kind of vibe to it, you know, almost like some scratches, you know. <laughs> uh isn't that beautiful and i love also oh, i think this ring this is by zara last season so let me remove it for now yes love love that i mean literally oh so fabulous and the thing i love about bangles is also the way that you can um, play with the juxtaposition with the layering of several bangles you can wear them on both arms so this is so good i love the wooden ones they're so original and also you know very chic as well love love that so this is the first bangle let me put that right here and then i have some African bangles, I call them African because of a motif, like kind of like some Maasai um, motif and like from West Africa also that I love this. I think my mom brought it over, but you can still see it on Etsy. There are a lot of vendors on Etsy who sell those kind of like um, tribal, like uh, Maasai and uh, West African, Malian and Guinean kind of like motif. Oh yeah, I love those tiny beads and this is so beautiful. The thing is, this is too big. So when you have like a big bangle like this that, you know, 
<laughs> obviously doesn't fit your your wrist what you do is that you have to kind of plug this in with a smaller one so it can stay put so this is the secret i have the thinnest the smallest waist i feel like almost like a child i mean i see a few bengals i actually bought from zara i never actually was able to depart from but the second they came in they were literally falling off and i'll have probably to get rid of them but something like that yes you can definitely plug this in or you can use another one like this there you go problem solved so you see you kind of plug this in so it won't go anywhere so this is also my secret for when i have like big bangles completely like closed off because if it's like an open bangle like this you got no choice it's going to fall off and this probably doesn't fit it's pretty thin. did i thrift this <laughs> i don't know but it's too big i'll have to probably give it to my mom or whatever but yeah a closed off bangle like this this is perfect yes love that so this is actually thrifted probably salvation army or like another thrift store i like the motif almost like etched into it and the blue color that's one thing also being a maximalist i love having different colors of everything pretty much every style <laughs> that i like and then let's see this right here i think it's thrifted i love me some good like polka dots so when i saw the black one the black bengal with a big like white dot i was like are you kidding me it can create such an edgy look and even with what i'm wearing right now you kind of want to add some contrast you know between the black and the green and you wear this you know it's very edgy so you can play with your jewelry and like i always say you don't need to spend a lot of money to look chic and to just be yourself and bangles can be one with anything right you don't have to wear like a traditional garb and you know look all kind of ethnic to wear bangles and to rock it to a modern way you can wear this with jeans with a dress with a skirt with anything this you should have seen here I love me some good animal prints so this is a zebra one that i thrifted i was like yes yeah. so you can play with them and the good thing is you can play you can try on different things you can accessorize you can be like um what do you like if you are for example like a minimalist kind of person maybe one bengal is enough for you that's fine on top of your watch or whatever if you are a maximalist kind of person you know you know you like to stack up your jewelry so go for it have fun with it sis and this is also like a calf i said i was going to also show some calves this is a calf bracelet that i think i thrifted i really really like it it's got some elastic do you see what I mean? Do you see that? I love wearing my jewelry like this. I love it. It's like a big calf, you know, really giving you like tribal, chic, love that. And it goes with a scarf as well. So I love mixing uh, jewelry like this. This is actually a thrifted bangle that I bought probably at Salvation Army, but like a green, kind of like lime green. With some yellowish tint to it so yeah beautiful yes 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 so i always look for the jewelry when i go to the thrift store <sighs> isn't that darling i love kind of like the 3d kind of like um, oval diamond shape it, it, it's in a weird way i love how it's crafted and the wooden aspect of it just you know stole my heart I love that and it fits me perfectly yes it fits my <laughs> my tiny wrist oh it is so good and when I wear when I'm wearing something wooden like that I always like to um, stack it um, I have this one here for oh and how I stack my bangles I'm running out of space honestly sis but usually I get those um, jewelry those bracelet holders and this is what I do that's and I love them so I have a few here in my closet and this is very very space efficient this is practical you can see them and it's also it also looks nice you know as a decor kind of things so yeah let me give you an example let me wear this first and then do you see how the contrast still adds to the beauty of it oh and with a ring beautiful you see Oh, and I feel like if you're wearing brown and like wooden kind of like um, earthy tones it goes with a lot of clothes so I love wearing those like that 
Next up, we have this um, animal print, this leopard print. Oh, yes, yes, love that. I thrifted it. I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, love that. I, this is the first thing I go to when I go to a store that sells some jewelry, like a, to a thrift store, for example. And But I have heard from several bloggers that TJ Maxx and Marshalls have like a very nice, like eccentric also kind of display for jewelry. If you know about it, let me know. So I'm thinking about filming um, a trip to Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I think it's both. I have seen a lot of like nice chunky jewelry like statement pieces and I'm like huh I never knew that about those stores because I, I never go there honestly I used to go to Ross a lot but that was like over 10 years ago so I will check out those stores this is a recently acquired snake print bangle and let me tell you sis I love it it is fabulous it's brand new and guess what I did not know about it, but the Salvation Army, um, yeah, close to me, was closing for renovations, right? Like foundation work or whatever. And they had everything 75% off. Everything. And they had that sale maybe like for two or three weeks. And of course, you know, I'm busy. I didn't really go check it out. I didn't even know about the sale. Then on one Saturday, last Saturday, I think, I was like, huh, let me just step in there. I saw the sale sign. The store was pretty much empty. I did not know about it. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? So uh, I got some, some jewelry. I got, what did I get? I got some brooches. I'll show you in a different video since we're talking about bracelets right now. But I got some brooches and I got this bangle. And it says Copelli, New York. And um, I, they removed the original price. But I'm sure, you know, it's a good quality one. I like it. And it was $4, so I bought 75% of it. Let me tell you, sis, all the clothes were almost gone. It was like somebody was moving. So this is what I bought recently. Next up, we have... Yeah. Oh, this one is so cute and so playful. This is a bangle I bought at the thrift store. And I don't know if you can see it. It's purple, but with some um, green polka dots. Isn't that kind of very subtle and chic at the same time? When I saw that, I was like, oh, I like that playfulness to it. So, yeah, I bought it at the thrift store as well. And then one thing also, vintage bangles are the best. Vintage cuffs, they are the best, I'm telling you. This I bought from Shein. If maybe two or three years ago I noticed I didn't have like a red bengal per se so I was like you know what I'm going to go on Shein and find me a red cap I think that's when I bought it I love colors so I only had like prints and like earth tones I was like no I need a red bengal that would pop when I want to use it to accessorize my outfit so this is a red bengal that I will also like to stack when I'm wearing other things and then I bought a few from Shein. They sell a lot of bangles, a lot of them. And this is one of them that I wear. And I actually love to wear them. Let me remove this one first. I actually love to wear them as a pair. There's like a different kind of style I love to wear as a pair, like those cuffs. It kind of makes me think about, you know, Wonder Woman, kind of like that kind of warrior vibe, you know, like almost like yeah, the Amazons and yes love that and i love the um the rhinestone kind of like some gems that they put on it the colorful very very chic very you know girly um colors with gold with pink and different colors so this is by Shein. i bought it a few years ago and uh, yeah when i want to look you know dancy and chic and cute with some pink i love to wear this how should i <laughs> I'm trying to think, how should I actually stand so you can see both <laughs> efficiently? Maybe it's like this, yes. I was about to do the Wakanda thing. <laughs> and then what else do we have? We have several ones. So I actually have the necklace of this. Where is the necklace? I don't see it right now. I thrifted it and this came with a necklace and I'm like, oh, I love that. It's very chic. I love anything that is like move. Is it move in English? move i think it's like pastel kind of colors that's what i mean i think movies in french but like pastel lilac very like chic and girly and this really gave me all the vibes so i got it 
so now i have some bracelets that are so on trend zara sells them and by the way i'm going to insert all of the links on the zara's website which you know you can find them on amazon everywhere but the ones i'm going to put down that were easy to find were on zara so i'll include all those links in the description box should be interested to check them out but those are bracelets that zara sells right now but these here they came from africa my mom bought them for me so come over so i was gorgeous i love the accents with the gold and the um uh, the iridescent kind of like color also is shimmery and i love the mix of beads and all these accents oh my gosh so so good this is how i stand out in my outfit sis we can all wear the same outfit but i always like to say it's the way we accessorize things that will make a difference oh lord did i get them tangled up okay i got it got it there we go oh yes and those here those are a bit smaller oh my gosh i love that i love that for me honestly i don't care if you're wearing like a I don't know a ten thousand dollar chanel whatever i still feel fabulous i have no complex about wearing my costume jewelry this is my essence this is very like royalty when i wear this with my scarves i feel like oh so dainty so chic so um i asked them to bring me this so i have a full selection of those then oh i think one well, my leg is I think my leg is getting numb so i have to stretch it sorry <laughs> i've been sitting on it <laughs> oh lord okay what we would then do for fashion right and zara right now i will set the picture so you see isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh so of course when it comes as a set like this you don't have to wear everything right like i always say go with your vibe sis but for me <laughs> more is more so <laughs> I love and I do not mind wearing everything at once. Oh my gosh, it feels like such a nice calf. I love that chunky layer. And so you can still wear three. You can still wear two of them. You know, you want to be simple. I get it, cutesy. Or you can still wear one. You know, if you just want to add an accent, just a sprinkle of salt, you know, not too much, that's fine. But you know, at least it's bringing like a playful take on accessories. And I promise you, it's going to bring the right accent to your outfit. And everywhere you go, people will be like, oh, I like there's something about, you know, what you're wearing. I have another set here of bracelets pink i mean come on now gorgeous 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 and like usual we're going to try on everything at once loving this yes yeah. so a lot of times you know a lot of sis ask me sis um you know where do you find this how do you put things together it is what i'm accessorizing with that makes a difference for example i'm adding this brooch right now to my blouse and I love it. This is thrifted, you see. So even a brooch really brings something to your outfit. I think there was a common belief that brooches were for elderly women or something. No, it's not. You can use it to accessorize a hat. You can use it to accessorize like your collar, create like kind of a closure to it, very stylish. You can use it on anything. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I love this green one with a pearls i mean so so chic so cute you know i got to try this on you know i got to try this on so um i have several ones here you know just to show you i love different colors because of course different outfits bring on different colors and different styles from the big chunky ones to the small thin one yes i love them all i love them all so now you have different colors here too different um widths and dimensions now let's see yep i'm telling you i am telling you now this i know for sure my mom brought over loving this i love this color and honestly a lot of the jewelry here you think that because you know when we are back home we wear them a lot a lot it's not everybody's taste neither um me that's how i've always loved it you know being extra like that a lot of people just you know love it dainty 
um, gold necklace, a dainty calf for like a bracelet and they're good. So not all Africans <laughs> neither like to wear this or a headscarf, you know, it's up to everybody's sensibilities and taste in fashion. So this is beautiful. And traditionally, when a woman gives birth um, back home, she has a time to like, you know, stay in, feed the baby, and she gets fed and being pampered and taken care of. This is a type of jewelry that when she actually comes out in the world, it depends on some culture. Sometimes it's like after 30 days, after whatever, you know, when she's healed and, you know, they really fatten her up real good spray some shea moisture on her every day slather it with some good fatty food and she's you know that, that that's our culture you got to look very like you know <laughs> when she looks very plump and now they slather make her shine like diamonds and then she goes out with a baby you know for everybody to see her so this is traditionally the kind of jewelry that she has to stack up on to look very traditional and depends on every culture not every culture is the same but from the south of the country which my dad is from that culture that's what we do there we go oh my gosh i love those black ones oh my gosh oh talk about accents talk about luxury this i don't care what people say this for me screams luxury you know all of those are some costume jewelry says i don't care when i wear this i feel like a million dollars i feel like a million bucks yes and a lot of times i love to wear something like this with i have my jewelry box here with some very like extra earrings like this or i would choose something like that oh, to kind of like go with a black theme oh, yes yeah, so this is so so good and i have if you can tell how much i love it yes 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 on both arms and sis nobody can tell me anything nobody i don't care <laughs> and this is elevate any outfit if i'm wearing a caftan a tunic something very flowy oh my gosh people stop me at the store to let me know how beautiful i look uh let me see yeah some more bangles very cute and this is i think a bit wide so i always wear something to plug this in when i wear this um what would i wear this with i'm trying to kind of like give you an idea about the color combinations that i do you know I have those clear bracelets also, which I actually ordered some. Did I order some? No, I was looking. I was looking at some on Shein because I'm looking for big calves, but clear, clear big calves. That's what I was looking for. But those, I think I thrifted and I just love, they're just not, they're not just clear. I love the mix of the green and the black and the kind of like water color. <laughs> they like the white wall and visible kind of feel yes i love it some people are not really comfortable with it just because of the noise but you know there's a way when you're wearing this where you move your arm gracefully you know if you somewhere so it doesn't really clink too much or you can just wear one like i said so you can probably do this there you go those kind of calves which i love them those are for full leather i was in full fur was a full leather and i love wearing them this is by Shein, and i got a few i feel like when i add them to my outfits they're adding like a i was about to say hardcore <laughs> you know like a street vibe very like rock and roll um punch accessory to my look and i love them yes yes so like my style is very versatile i can go from dainty ladylike to you know a bit more street style and edgy so that's why i love to get different casts like this and this has like a motif on it nice so um let's talk about what's in here okay this is part of the bangles that i'll probably have to let go maybe fits my mom this was by zara and uh, yeah i should know better right all of the open cuffs my the wrist is too small you literally just 
but just so you can have a visual that's what it's supposed to be looking like it's looking like some crumples kind of like leaves that's why i loved it i love edges like this this is such an interesting element and it's very like gaudy chic i love that but you know i cannot really like close it too much i don't want to break it so this has got to go but it's fabulous yes looking for the right golden accent this will give you more than an accent honestly this is very extra so this will have to go and now we have another set that i bought from um, walmart uh, walmart has walmart has bangles yeah they have some golden accent bangles but this is by zara <laughs> oh my gosh was open so if you have thin thin wrist like me just just know just know but isn't that gorgeous oh i love that and i think it was too late to return or something those have such a stringent i would say return policy sometimes that i'm like ah just pass it on to somebody else why bother and if it was like big enough i could have worn it as a calf even you know but it, i guess if you but it's going to go down. It's going to go down. I don't want to force the issue anymore. So this is going to go. So now I'm just going to stick to completely closed off um, cuffs because I have such um, tiny wrist. This here is thrifted. It's one bangle and I love it, the style of it. It looks like it's two and with some golden and like brass. I love this brass actually. It doesn't really change color or if it does, it still looks they're kind of like rugged chic and yeah this is what it looks like and i love that for me so i thrifted this next up we have another one that i thrifted i think yes i love those um Zina the warrior kind of like halves oh yes very chic very you know warrior like very cool so i thrifted both now we have a pack of black and whites which i love hold on i think we have another black one here so this is a big black i actually oh poshmark that's one platform that i always forget to mention i get a lot of my bangles on poshmark as well um iris apple god bless her soul um, used to have like a collection on Poshmark for the bangles. You know, she's known for being the queen of fabulous um, bangles and cuffs and um, costume jewelry. So she had that collection on, I forgot with Target, but anyways, there were, I saw all of them on Poshmark. So I was like, oh, I don't have big, thick bangles like this. That would be so interesting. So I bought this a while back and love that. It's so sturdy. I love the um, the the waves of this. So this is something where, and this actually fits me still, although it's open. So I love a good black and white moment. I love the contrast. It's so timeless and so fashion. So yeah, this is perfect for me. And this, I think I thrifted. You see how the inside is black and white. Hopefully you can see it. And then the outside is like half black and half like kind of like python snake print so cool so so chic so i bought them i think this i thrifted but this is probably poshmark i think so poshmark is such a great um platform to source your jewelry as well i love scrolling there unfortunately sometimes <laughs> and this one here is by zara i think and it was really giving me you know the tiffany calf that cost i don't know fifteen hundred dollars or something so i saw this there i was like oh i can probably try and uh, i like it it's of course you know i have a small wrist but it still it still stays put and i just love the um the shape of it you know yes i like that now i have some blue light blue you know like navy blue greenish kind of um, big half which was from poshmark as well i have a few like that too i don't know where they are but anyways i have anyways you know so you get the idea i love wearing that a lot i've worn this a lot on my videos with some styles and this is also one of my favorite for sure now let's talk about those kind of caps those were by zara 
I think maybe last year or two but I love those uh, silver accents cuffs like this almost like looking they're looking more modern you know more mainstream than the rest and for me this brings like that silver accent that very sleek accent that I want to add to my look sometimes and <laughs> what am I doing <laughs> to my look sometimes and I really really like them so so cute so you can find them everywhere they have like that clasp and they're actually very sturdy so I love that for a nice accent you add like a nice ring and there you go this I thrifted oh yes and it says Victoria's Secret on it when I saw the shape, I'm like, yes, it's so tiny. That's me. It's made for me. So it fits me perfectly. I love the um, diamantes on it and the like triangle kind of like pyramid um, design that they added. Yes. So, so those will complement any outfit. This is by Shein. And let me tell you, I think I wear them so often. You should have seen it here. I just love the peacock motif to it it is so cute it is it wraps up around my wrist real good oh, i love this so chic so chic so yeah this is by Shein. and then i have a that was by Shein, and this is like a paw print um calf that i bought from them maybe a year and a half ago cool this is like a nice bracelet that i thrifted and you know it's different it's like kind of like that yellow golden tone like accent and it came with a necklace one day i'll show it in a video it came with a necklace and um, a pair of earrings as well now i have another version this is probably thrifted i think love love that so now so i have actually purchased this pair the link will be in the description box like i said so this is a haul they're currently selling it and let me tell you when i saw this ivory color oh my gosh i saw this twisted kind of design i was like you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me so i bought it and right now sis do you see what it looks like they actually have the brown version of course i ordered it before they ran out of it because you know it's going to go out of stock so so fast so i ordered the brown version yes i cannot resist a good calf so this is by zara and right now on sale not on sale but you know on the website <laughs> you know what i mean so now let's talk about this stack right here so same let me yeah same you know thrifted this is also thrifted like i say i love checking out the thrift store the jewelry stand every time i thrift and let's talk about this one oh iris up for poshmark just like the black one i just showed you earlier yes that was another order and the good thing about poshmark which could be the bad thing if you are a seller is that you can barter and uh you know kind of like auction style which is a bad thing for sellers because I'm still selling my shoes there. Since if you're interested, my nine West like pumps and I have some boots there on Poshmark. I'll include my link. If you are a seller, sis, people want to bargain to get things like for one dollar. I'm like, come on, it costs me money. You gotta be fair. So I have, I try to be honest. I have, I'll try to be not really, when I'm buying as a buyer, I try to be reasonable. I'll say. So this is another one of those um, bracelets and i actually have a whole bag i don't know if i have time in this video i don't want it to be too long but my mom bought me this whole bag of jewelry when she came over and honestly i have yet to uncover what's all in here i have i've been so busy sis. so this is also one black and white that i showed you this is one i've probably bought from Shein, and this is probably from Shein. so i love a good mix of colors and this i'm not even sure this is like an ankle ankle bracelet love them this is probably by Shein, and this i probably bought back home that's a bracelet okay so now i have some more bracelets here this probably by Shein. 
and Vos. Oh my gosh, I love Ocean. And the thing is, I love to contrast them with different colors. For example, you want to do like a yellow and black look. I mean, I do it. I don't know if you want to do it, but I love if I'm wearing something yellow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Do you catch a vibe? That's how I love to look extra. I love this vibe so, so much. So that's how I accessorize things. And I have more bracelets. I think those came straight from home. And uh, oh, I love to use them. And like I said, you can wear just a few or you can wear all of them. I have, you know, a chunky kind of layering situation love that and now let's talk about this holder here this is actually something I thrifted oh my gosh this I love this thrifted this I mean not only is it wooden but look at the design look at the oh my gosh look at the cream color the oatmeal color with the wooden brown what's not to love about it and I love wearing them together I love wearing them together. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see it. This is a necklace. Oh, yes. Do you see? Do you see? Yes. This I was actually selling it and I missed out on it. I wasn't really sure. I wasn't. And um, the styling twins actually showed them on the video. They're like, you know, she has a nice dupe. And I fell in love and I bought it. So with such cast. I feel like oh this is giving all the vibes so I love that so so much you should probably have seen it here on this channel so when I'm talking to you about yes Poshmark the iris app for yes Poshmark love that and then you know different colors I have another contrasting black and white here different motif and also have i wanted to talk about those like pearl kind of like um calves that you can use since you don't have to wear like a prom dress kind of thing like to necessarily wear this kind of like um calves or like pearl um bracelet you can wear them with anything with your t-shirt with some jeans with your skirts with anything at work i feel like we have associated with them being so festive that we don't really wear them those individual bracelets and those this is probably by walmart walmart sells a lot of them and i love to buy them i love them so so much because you know they still look so chic and right up my alley like i said you don't have to spend a lot of money this is thrifted yes love that love love that oh, this is so chic when i wear this just one suffices just one is enough i am in love with that calf beautiful now let's talk about those in my jewelry box here i thrifted these calves when i tell you this is like a golden foil golden aluminum foil goodness so chic so fabulous i love the shape kind of like the cylinder shape it fits me great i love the um, the shine to it it little looks like a, pap a papier mache like a paper mache kind of situation <gasps> yes yeah, so thrifted this and when i say thrifted not more than five dollars like maybe two dollars even so very very cheap very affordable and then i have a whole bunch here that i probably bought from Shein. now I think this is by Zara, not sure, probably Zara. Apparently I have three of them, not sure how that happened. <laughs> but I love those calves. Like I go a lot between like silver and gold, depending on what I want to add, the accents, and I love to mix jewelry as well. I feel like this is very chic and it adds that touch of like accents, you know, like that cute accents you can add like a brooch yeah so 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 chic so chic so then what do we have here this is Shein. i love to buy sets because i like to wear one on each arm yes you see why i like to buy sets this is why this is why i also have this um 
version here with the orange color yes and then this is zara last year or last season i'm not sure this anyways but i like that design and they're good with like nice designs for the like brass um cuffs yes oh, so so good i only got one of it i think and then this probably thrifted i'm not sure but you know nice this is like a bit thinner than the other ones i showed you and this is by zara on poshmark i fell in love with it i believe i bought it from dion dean she's actually here on youtube she's a fabulous fashion girl fashion she knows the history of fashion i love her so yeah she sold it in her store on poshmark and i grabbed it so so fast this is really giving me luxury this is giving me you know dynasty it's really giving me like elizabeth taylor kind of chic you know yes i think this is zara and then what else this is another one this is thrifted when i tell you i jumped on it so fast i was like are you kidding me yes that's literally coming out of marvel like like a marvel movie yes love that and now this is also from the dion dean's um, store the elephants i'm like yes i'm all for it love that very giving like indian love that and uh, yeah i have a few here this is by zara I love the mixed metal here, yes, with the golden and uh, silver accents, really chic, very cool. I've worn that here before, thrifted, I love how it looks like Middle Eastern, it really has that vibe, so, so chic, so cool. And then this definitely oh my gosh sis are you ready for it this is probably from iris apple i'm not sure but this is poshmark you can see how fabulous it looks yes yes all the fabulousness i love that so so good and are we done here oh yes this is probably zara and then this is I probably thrifted i think i'm done with the ones here in my jewelry box i only have earrings in there right now and this calf sis this is by h m they had a collection like every year they have a holiday collection and i was able it goes so fast it goes so fast sells out in matters of minutes i was able to snatch this piece i was like yes i love how chunky it is oh very nice oh love that very very nice very well done and it's got some um elastics inside keeping it together and it stays on my wrist what else to ask it's very festive very in your face very bold which i love and let's talk about some recent purchases that i made i did not I, i'm trying to make a separate video where i source my afrocentric african inspired jewelry so i love um, koi.com I love koi so their website is shopkoi.com and this is the I, I haven't even removed the tag yet the ario bengal i wanted to let you know exactly what it was the ario bengal let me tell you shop koi is such a nice brand i think the owner is from ghana she's so sweet so cute and she's coming up with so many very fun designs to like an afrocentric um take on it very nice and this is not for the for the wary for the faint of heart <laughs> this is for the extra extra girl and i think she had like a smaller version of it but i'm like why give me give it to me give me all the fashion give me all the extra i don't care so this is actually one that i bought and i can really see myself sis because i want to look every bit of you know african chic when i wear this but you can still wear this you know with your modern clothes but for me i feel like i want to look really like royalty when i wear this <gasps> yes so this is so so good it's so well made <laughs> Thank you.
and say, Doris, for real? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know you love it. If you have not subscribed yet, what are you doing, sis? You know you love all the fashion. You're here for the extra. So please subscribe right now. Thank you so much. Um, this is the Tula Bengal, the extended version. So I have learned to go with the extended. If something is not as elastic as this one, on the website, I go for the extended version for it to have enough opening. I've had to return like a bangle because it was the regular one and it was even too small for my wrist. Can you believe that? So I go for the extended on certain designs that she make. But this one, oh my gosh, it's like this kind of like loops around and it is fabulous. Oh, do you see myself? I see myself in a photo shoot right now. I see myself. <laughs> this is like so Vogue-like. And a lot of celebrities have worn her design. She's blowing up. And I'm so, so happy for her. Yes. And we're here to support. We're here to support. So I'll include the links. You know, I think she has the smaller version. I'm not sure. But I'll, you see how it falls? Do you see that? And then it pops right back up anyways yeah so those are my recent acquisitions and i wanted to dip into what my mom brought me that i have never looked into there's a mix of like necklaces too i think oh yeah i told her remember those bracelets i was talking about to like nursing moms that we you know that they wear i told her i said can you get me those can you get me those bracelets i mean <laughs> i'm not having any more babies but you know fashion wise this is this is excellent and she bought me a bunch oh yes 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 so 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 fabulous i love a mix of colors oh, i love prints and colors if you know me you know so this is so nice what else oh yes i love those maasai inspired um necklaces yes love love that that's nice and this oh, i guess she threw on this um nice um braided bracelet on oh nice okay okay and then ooh, yes man Mama delivered. Look at that. I love the intricate details of it. Isn't that so nice? So I'm also showing you that so you know to not necessarily stick with what is mainstream. We don't necessarily have to look like, you know, Princess Kate. Let's be honest. <laughs> I love some pizzazz into my look. I love some originality. And this is, I think it's a set. Oh, I can need to remove it. Okay, this is a bracelet. This is the, um, the um, necklace. And some more bracelets, fabulous. One beaded, one um, looking like those here. That set. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, with the set. Yes, bracelets. Another bracelet here. Oh, I like the curry beads mix. Oh, I like that. The curry beads mix with um, the pearls. Okay, okay. Yes, I showed you that already. Oh, more bracelets. I love it. Love, love that so, so much. And um, yeah, another bracelet. Okay, so now I know what's in her, the bag she sent me. So we did some unboxing. <laughs> really, really enjoyed this video, sis. Thank you so much for watching this video, sis. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Are you a Bengals? Are you a calves? Custom jewelry kind of gal? Or are you more into, you know, the dainty and the kind of like the mainstream kind of jewelry? Uh, what's your fashion like so I thank you so much for watching hopefully you have enjoyed it make sure that you like this video subscribe hit the notification bell so you will be notified once I post a new video leave me a comment share and you know all of the stuff that YouTube requires and asks of to support your content creators I appreciate you see you see in a fab fashion video it should be a thrift with me video I think so stay tuned <laughs> Stay blessed. Bye.